This is OBD Link MX Plus, definitely best ELM327 adapter you can buy. You also got this cover for it and the adapter comes with 3 years warranty. The best part of OBD Link is that with this adapter you are able to connect not only to your smartphone but also to laptop as well. When you buy this adapter you are also getting access to OBD Link smartphone app and also to OBDV's laptop OBD2 software. Okay, so why do I think it is best DLM adapter? First, you can connect it also to laptop, not many adapters can do that. Second, it have sleep function, so you can connect it and leave it connected in car for how long you would like. It will not drain your battery. It also has secure connection, so it won't disconnect which is important when you are doing ECU coding. So unlocking hidden features. If your adapter disconnects during the coding, you are risking damaging your control module. And last and most important reason is the speed. OBD Link is way faster than other ELM adapters, which is useful especially when you are looking at live data and those live data dashboard. Check the comparison. This is speed test for a VPIG adapter, which already has a good speed. Now for OBD Link, which is almost three times faster. Now it wants me input the vehicle details. This is 2004 Fiat Punto sports car. <laughs> Engine size 1.2. Okay, so this is main menu for OBD Link app. And I will briefly show you what it can do. But with OBD Link, you are not limited to just one this app. You can use any app that is made for these ELM adapters. They should all work. For example, my favorite OBD2 app, Car Scanner Pro. I also have separate review for this one. In my opinion, best OBD2 app, so definitely check it out as well. Link will be up here. But back to the OBD Link. First, you can use it to view this dashboard page, which monitors live data. This page is fully customizable. You can input any data you want and also select between different designs. See how nice and smoothly are they changing. That is also advantage of OBD Link. I know it's a little bit more expensive than other ELM adapters, but at least you are getting extremely fast response. And if your car supports it, you might be able to even cast this data directly on your car's radio. Next you can check your readiness monitors, so basically this app will tell you if your car will pass state emission inspection. If the car is in good health, you will see a lot of these green ticks, which mean the test is completed. Gray one means that your car won't support this test, and this warning sign means that this test wasn't completed yet. So either it needs to be completed or there is fault in this system. <laughs> and I have a lot of these warning ones, so car is definitely not in a good shape. Here you can also look at values from your oxygen sensor. Also we have here the mode 9, that is vehicle information. For most vehicles it will be able to show your VIN number and also some other data regarding your engine control module. With this map function you can monitor where you are driving and also check your vehicle speed. Ok, this is the recording of my drive. The color is indicating the engine speed or vehicle speed. Now the probably most important function will be this diagnostics. So reading codes, live data and other diagnostic functions. OBD Link app will also tell you what type of code you have. Either confirmed, pending or some other type like for example permanent. You can check freeze frame data, live data parameters from that time when this code was stored into ECU. So exactly when the PO500 was stored in the ECU, these were the engine parameters from exactly that time. Can help me with my diagnosing process. But for this particular code, I am suspecting that ECU in this car is probably bad. You can also go to this report and let the app create your diagnostic report. Now the PID values, it is engine live data. You can select which one you want to look at. These are global OBD live data, which should be available on every vehicle that has OBD2 system installed. For example, fuel system status, engine coolant temperature, fuel trims maybe intake air temperature done now i have this live data page i can look at you can also check those live data in form of graphs with these logs here you can build your custom graph you can look at four different graphs at once also customize this graph change the colors for each item okay so now i am outside so we can check those live data go to these logs press play to start displaying data i can flip the screen and when i press on the pedal the values are changing Okay, looking at it like this, it's even better. Okay, so you can check your engine live data, select which ones you want to look at. Now we also have here this performance dashboard, we can try it out now on the way home. I am in the 
city so I can't really accelerate 200 not anyways with this vacuum cleaner I am driving but you get the idea you have this performance dashboard by the way if you want to save money on buying a scanner I have completely free PDF which you can download this complete guide will explain all scanners functions and also list out the best picks that are really greatest value for money starting from $15 you can download it in link in description and that will also sign you up for my newsletter. So you will also receive future best scanners I will find. Okay, now let me disconnect from the app and I will show you OBDV software for laptop. Okay, so this is OBDV software. You are also getting access to this one for free when you buy OBD link. Let's connect it. Let me input the vehicle details. Now again, the software is very similar to what we are looking at. Smartphone you can read codes, you can erase that code like with any other OBD software. You can check your dashboards. Same as in the app, you can select which data you want to look at. You can see your readiness monitors and also check your live data graphs. Configure them how you like and you can also create this complex diagnostic report. Now this is basically the exact same thing like OBD link up, OBD Viz, created by same company, has same functions. Only difference is that you are using this one with your laptop instead of smartphone. But other than that, the software is exactly the same. And that is basically it. I mean, if you want to save money, you can go with VPIC, but if you want the best adapter and if you want good adapter for coding, the OBD link is the best choice definitely.